and I'm back. Uh, as far as all that's concerned, he just, I, I don't know. It, take, it takes a real piece of work to lie to people like that and expect them to follow you. And he's got a shitload of subscribers and, you know, people that are going to defend him. And he, you know, he just calls us all haters. That's his way of, of, not, of not actually trying to deal with the problem and admit his shortcomings and everything like that. It's basically what he says is, oh, you're all just haters. You just, you're just haters. You just, don't, you just don't like me, so you just, you know, whatever. I, I don't know. He's just a piece of work. Oh, but what I was saying was there won't be any cutting videos coming from me for a little while, even though if some of you enjoyed my videos, and I hope you do, I, I do it for fun. I don't try to do any instructional videos or anything like that. Um, if you would like me to do an instructional video on the spinning cut that I do, you can see it in more great backyard cutting and cutting before lunch. I do it in both of those. And I like to think that that's a pretty good technique. And I do it with the Paul Chin Hunway to Dow. So if you like that, if you want me to do an instructional video on it, or if you just want to be an asshole and post comments saying, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, stop it. That I need to stop. You're just stupid. Don't know what you're doing. I invite you say speak your mind i don't care it is your right as an american to speak your mind and i'm not going to call you haters i might get mad and cuss back at you you know that's just how it goes you know if you say something fucked up i'm going to say something fucked up if you say if something you know nice i'm going to say thank you if you say you would love for me to do an instructional video guess what even with my bum shoulder i'm going to get out here and do that video just for the simple fact that i love positive feedback but if I don't get positive feedback, I'm not going to cry about it. I'm going to do my damnedest to get better so that I don't get any more negative feedback. Pure and simple. That's all there is to it, you know. But, I don't know. These people that are all hating on Chosun Ninja, I can understand it. I can completely understand it. But what I don't like is to see people who have seemingly devoted their fucking lives or their entire time on YouTube to not having fun to the point where they're they're not they're not having fun they're not trying to post videos for fun they're not trying to they're they're just simply posting videos to debunk Chosen Ninja to just just perpetuate their hatred for this man and that's all he is is a man he's not a fucking ninja he's he, he's not even a good sensei i heard some of his seminars he talks about free nintai jutsu Okay, uh, wasn't it DTG Karate or some shit like that before? He keeps changing the name of his fucking art. You can't really call that an art if you just keep changing the name of it. I mean, I mean, I swear, dude. They didn't say, oh, this is Kendo, the way of the sword. They didn't turn around and go, oh, this is Kenbo Jutsu or whatever the fuck. I don't know. I just pulled that out of my ass. See, the same thing he does. He pulls shit out of his ass talking about his martial arts. They don't change it. If you, if you do something right the first time, there is no need to change it later on because you did it right the first time and there's no need for it. Not, not, not one fucking need. But he keeps changing his stuff. He changes the story. He changes everything he posts. He changes it, which just shows me that he doesn't stand by his word. And as far as I'm concerned, if you're going to lie, if I'm going to lie to you, I'm going to be the best goddamn liar I can possibly be. If you come back and say, no, that's wrong, you're a lying sack of shit, I'm not going to change my story. I'm going to say the exact same thing, but I'm going to give you the middle finger at the same time. That's all I'm saying. You know, Stand by your word. That's what makes you a man. If you can't stand by your word, if you're not enough of a man to stand by your word, what good are you? What purpose do you serve? That's it. That's all I'm saying. <sighs> but, yeah. But I blew out my shoulder doing those uh, dive rolls. I did a few before, beforehand. I was doing some dive rolls, and then I, I went to do another one. I hit my shoulder pretty hard. I injured it before doing weightlifting, so this didn't help. So, you know, my shoulder's going to be out of commission, so I can't do any cutting videos for a while. But if, if you want that, if you want that spinning cut, if you want that spinning cut, I will do it. Just because that is my favorite way to cut shit. I swear, it's my favorite way to do it. And for some reason, I do it with the I do it with my Paul Chin and Jato. I do it with that one. Just as well. But for some reason doing it with the Dow just feels amazing. It's just if if you don't have a Paul Chin Hunway the Dow, the Warlord the Dow, or you can get the you can get the um 
God damn, my shoulder. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, but if uh, you want, get the uh, military to Dow. Don't really care for the military to Dow as much, but you, that's in one of my other videos talking about my Paul Chin to Dow. Um, if you don't have one, I totally recommend buying one. It is just an amazing sword. I don't have a katana right now. I used to have a Ryuman Practical Folded 1060 Carbon Steel Katana. And I used to have a couple of Masahiro Katanas. And... Yeah, I've, I've had like four or five Katanas. I don't remember the other makes and everything of them. But, you know, I've had I've had a few Katanas. Oh, the Bushido Raijin. I had that too. They, they, they advertise it as full tank Katana, but it's not. It's about three quarters of the way. And the Suka is pretty soft, shitty wood. So... But I took that sword, uh, extended the Nakago, so it's about the size of a Kokatana now, or a traditional Ninjato. Check out Chines Cutlery. They make one. It's beautiful. I totally recommend buying it, too. It's beautiful. Um, I just don't have the money right now, or else I would have a shitload of swords. I'm actually saving up right now, though. I'm actually saving up. I owe money to the hospital right now because I got stabbed. I owe, like, two grand to the hospital, and all the motherfuckers did was stuff the wound on my back with gauze and send me home now they want two grand for stuffing my back with gauze instead of doing anything to help after i got stabbed but once i pay them two grand i'm gonna save up another two grand and buy the paul chin paper crane katana that's gonna be a ways down the road but i look forward to that day having a tamahagane katana mm. that's just Ah, you have to have dreams to aspire to. Mine, Tamahagane Katana. Or by that time I have enough money saved up, I might just buy a Nihonto from Japan. Not sure yet. I'll, I'll do something cool. But, uh, yeah. That's all I had to say about uh, Chosun Ninja. He, he does, uh, he's got a lot of nerve. That's for damn sure. But, you know, people talk about his video where he's holding the sword on his back and how he strapped it to his back. And the guy I'm subscribed to, he does a video about how his way of tying the sword to his back is better. I agree. I only agree if you're going into battle and you're doing a lot of running and a lot of grappling. Yes. If you're on an assassination mission, it doesn't really matter. Uh, if you're not planning on getting into any fist fights, if you're planning on going up behind somebody and stabbing them through the heart from the back... Okay, do it both ways. I don't care. You can do it this guy's way, uh, the guy I'm subscribed to. You can check him out. He's in my subscriptions and I uh, favorite one of his videos. Uh, you can do it his way, which makes the sword more stable. But Chosun Ninja's way, and he openly admits that how the Koreans usually wear their sword, which tells me that he only wears it in his obi in a Japanese manner because it is tactically more functional to pull your sword out from that way than it is to do it the traditional Korean way. But he shows you in his video about how to wear the sword on your back, he shows good technique. He shows some some, you know, good stuff about how to draw it off your back, how to resheathe it, everything like that, how to roll with it. Like that. You can't do that with the other guy's method. You can't roll with it with the other guy's method. You'll just you'll either break your saya or you'll get your suba stabbed into your back and that would hurt pretty bad. So there's give and take for both ways as far as I'm concerned. Uh, not everything Greg Parks does is completely wrong. It's just when he talks about stuff that he doesn't know or that he learned quickly and tries to do a video saying that he's mastered this technique, that's when I have a problem. That's when he doesn't make sense to me. That's when I have a problem with him and why I don't subscribe to him why I don't want anything to do with him because of the way he does that kind of stuff 